Hello, I'm Daria, a co-founder of Cinematics LCL Screen IO. They are the only tools in the MENA market uh, which focus on marketplaces and retailers' da data. Uh, they work with both uh, with enterprise clients within Cinematics and now other clients is companies such as Johnson Johnson, Procter & Gamble and uh, many more big clients uh, as well as uh, merchants. Uh, and here we have actually uh, many, many uh, merchants, uh, beginners and uh, existing sellers as well. Uh, so what marketplace data we track for the region? Uh, first, of course, is Noon. Uh, and um, this uh, data is very valuable because the only um, tool which covers uh, Noon KSA and Noon UAE. Uh, the second is uh, Amazon. Uh, and the third one is Shopify. So these three tools are uh, helpful not only for like big clients, but also for merchants as well. Uh, from, for enterprise clients, we also track uh, any custom uh, marketplace or retailer needed, or we can, or else they have data for Talibat and Nada. Uh, let me... Uh, just talk briefly about my experience in the e-commerce space. Uh, I started in uh, 2011 uh, and now it's been quite a long journey. Uh, I never switched the industry because uh, the uh, growth that I experienced within working with sellers and uh, also the, inside the marketplace is for us, uh, actually exponential. Uh, and um, uh, for the last three years, we develop a uh, data analysis service, which we started in China. Let's talk about product research. Uh, so product research is very essential part of every journey on marketplace for every single seller. Uh, the reason is why uh, product research is critical, uh, because again, again uh, each marketplace um, is different, uh, has actually different audience, uh, and Elsa um, has very difficult, very different structure and the date uh, of creation. Uh, let me explain. Uh, so with product search, the fry product search, we can find the best selling items, right? We can validate other theories and we can actually create very compelling product. So um, first and the main thing in the product search is actually defining your own business model. Uh, products in marketplace, we can uh, divide in few categories. One is trending products. It's those products which are now very popular or going to be super popular. Uh, usually this kind of product you can find in different categories. One of the categories is actually toys. For example, a few years it was very popular, uh, uh, the toy called spinners. Uh, and uh, a few years ago, and then this year, I guess, the best seller in many marketplaces is actually Huggy Wuggy. Uh, and uh, all of these toys or anti-stress toys, uh, they sell it like um, very good price at the beginning and uh, price is deteriorating uh, as much as market becomes saturated. So when you can find those, such products in uh, offline stores, or you can find such products, you know, like in like many uh, marketplace stores, that means that product is not longer uh, needed to sell on the marketplace. Uh, the beauty of this product is that at the beginning, then you see the trend nobody sees, uh, you can make a, a real good amount of money of that. Uh, and the issue started because, you know, like lifetime value of this product is actually very short. Usually it's like three to six months. So basically you need to be in constant search and you also need to be aware of many risks. Uh, for example, if your competition competitor is going to be like uh, more faster than you or the actual the volume of search for this 
trend is not going to increase like very intensively. So uh, this is the risk you must be aware of uh, when you're dealing with trending products. The second type of products is actually seasonal products. Um, it, here in UAE, if this is products, if these products is like uh, less popular than in countries where uh, actually four seasons uh, exist, but uh, still they have different kind of uh, holidays. We have Christmas, we have Ramadan, um, and we still have like at least like two seasons. Uh, so uh, they still have seasons, but the difference is slightly less. Uh, and uh, that's why it's actually also uh, one want to sell seasonal products should be aware of first of all of timing because all the products supposed to be sourced and uh, provided to marketplace in the exact time because if you start to sell in a uh, Christmas tree after Christmas uh, that means you know like you're gonna have like a lot of um, inventory which not gonna be uh, not gonna be sold by like during this year probably right and uh, that means lots of capital could be potentially frozen uh, in thus inventory uh, and the last type of products uh, which usually we um, suggest everyone goes for is actually basic products so by basic products uh, they mean the products uh, which um the use in daily life, uh, of course, for basic products, there is much more bigger competition, but the basic products is also like lower risk and the game you can play is uh, could be a, a longer. What else you need to think of then you're trying to source any kind of products and just trying your to, to start your uh, product search. First is uh, to be aware about requiring requirements on licenses and uh, different uh, certificates and uh, documents uh, because each document it has a cost so then you calculate your unit economy it's very important to be aware like how much how much money you need to spend on product and how much money you need to spend on certification for beginners we don't recommend to deal with those category required um, uh, certificates for example, uh, it's like baby products. It's um, the like products uh, which uh, like health and beauty products which uh, touch the skin uh, closely. Uh, so th those those categories require certificates, and uh, you need to be aware of it. Second is um, actually you can minimize the risk choosing the right category of products. So be aware of all about products. Um, recently, I've talked talk with many uh, sellers and most of them saying that uh, the category you want to sell usually should be the category which you actually attach with or you have passion for. Uh, I, I, it's not necessarily the main reason why you need to sell this but uh at least uh you should be aware that you wanna uh like really learn about uh this category and understand the how this product producing where uh the main producer of this product uh actually um located in and uh like what the techniques what, what is technology behind this products uh, the, 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 the third thing, very, very uh, important thing is actually calculating you, your unit economy very wisely and um, because unit economy is the cost which we uh, plan to spend for the product itself, the cost which we want to pay for the marketing this product, uh, marketplace, uh, a commission and fees uh, such as logistics, fulfillment, etc. And also your profit. So it's very important to understand the profit, the margin, and of course, percentage of returns, percentage of um, uh, the, the products which probably going to be lost during like the transportation or um, the, the, the unit economy 
basically is the um the 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 the, the very important thing that you need uh to have in mind and uh the last thing of course you need to check choose the right product itself uh, because uh, for many reasons many products in marketplaces can uh, generate either like a fortune for the seller even if it's like one right product or it also could be uh, just uh, you know like uh, time wasted so how we can understand the category so to understand the category we suggest to use salespin.io for uh which is tool for sellers um let's get to their um let's get to other interface yeah so um now we can see here uh categories within known marketplace um for new marketplace we collect almost four million products and this is the old products selling on marketplace so our approach is always the same we collect all the products on marketplace and we refresh data for them on a daily basis here we choose uh, data uh, timeline so let's choose actually uh, november uh, and uh, on the screen you can see actually all the categories available uh, on marketplace uh, you can see that health and beauty is the largest category on this marketplace. The second one, electronic and mobile, and the third one is kitchen. Uh, November is the actually the the time then um, we have two big promotion, which is a Yellow Friday and Eleven Eleven. So for many categories, we have like very positive dynamic. Uh, for example, for a home and kitchen they have positive dy dynamic of 21 percent so uh we can see the total size of the category is 65 million dirhams uh and the total number of sales for which for this category is 800 uh sales uh for each category you also can see the average bill so what is the average bill average bill is the average uh, order price in this category so not even order but uh average average uh sold product price uh so uh we can see here for for beauty health people usually uh spend an average on like 90 dirhams per product uh how electronics and mobiles it's tricky category because it's very capital intense category and they, of course, they have their like big brands as uh, Samsung, Apple, and Zara, which requires special permits to sell. Uh, and um, they see here average uh, check of uh, 276 dirhams. And we see also home and kitchen category, which is uh, has average uh, price of 79. Uh, and the uh, it's 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 come continue to grow during the uh, promo, which is actually a very very good sign. So it's uh, you can see that for every check um, added uh, seven dirhams uh, during the November. Um, they also can see number of products. Um, even though um, electronics mobile is um, big category, uh, we can see here uh, one million products uh, because we can see here a lot of accessories for mobile phones and electronics uh, and for home and kitchen for example for instance they have only uh, 600 thousand products uh, but if we check the fashion or actual baby products baby products the size of the category is like six times less than uh, home and kitchen so it's only 11 million but they also can see here only five forty-five thousand products. Although this category required uh, many permits, and for hand, uh, uh, home and kitchen, we can see here sixty-five uh, million of revenue and six hundred thousand products. Another uh, interesting metric we can check when they choose in the category is actually percentage of products with sales so for the health and beauty we can see here 1.1 percent of the product with sales 
And for common kitchen, it's 068. For baby products, it's uh, 167. So this is only indicator which gives you understanding on how many products, how saturated uh, category is. So we see actually home and kitchen, they more saturated than baby products and more saturated than um, beauty and health. This is what we can see from the uh, higher category level. So the first category level. Um, we also can see like second year, like third year, uh, like uh, level, uh, which indicates more detailed understanding of what uh going on in the category. We will go uh deeper as well. And here's the average sales, so number of sales per one per one product and category, and here is also average stock, same uh average stock per one product and category. So for home and kitchen, um, it's actually average stock is way more less, for example, for than baby products, uh, which is also indicates how easy you can get into the, uh, into the market. And the last metric we can see is actually the number of merchant, number of sellers. Um, so uh, we can see here that. Uh, Home and Kitchen has almost 3,000 sellers uh, and Health and Beauty has also almost 3,000 sellers. Uh, although, for example, uh, Toys and Games has um, 1,600 1, sellers. Uh, this is all category, this is all metrics that you need to have in mind. Second, then uh, you need to think of is actually the uh, share of big brands uh, and understanding uh, who are your competitors are actually. Uh, they sell so many times then actually the small sellers are taking um, all the like big categories like for example uh, some categories which usually are dominated by big FMCG brands and happens all the time. Although uh, you need require you know like special budget to that so for like small sellers without you know like uh, certain strategy or like certain budget we usually don't recommend to go to the uh, category dominated by any player by more than 30 percent another thing we don't really um, um, uh, recommend to go to the category which is um, dominated by certain seller uh, especially if the sell is, for example, marketplace itself. So Amazon on on. Uh, let's check beauty and health category. This is the category size of 67 million uh, dirhams. Uh, although if you carefully check the brands which are selling into this category, you can see uh, brands such as Kevin Klein, Roberto Cavalli, Tom Ford, and Sarah, uh, which sells perfume um with a market share of uh like less five percent but still you can see that uh there is in this category that a lot of competition uh with big brands and if you go at the perfume level you will see that all perfume is dominated but actually big brands uh so it's very tricky to uh compete in this category so one of the categories, for example, we can take um, a look at is uh, kitchen and dining. Uh, and if we go uh, inside the kitchen and dining, we can see this split. Uh, for example, um, there is a cookware category size of almost 10 million dirhams. Uh, dinerware and serveware, 2 million. Um, and two different categories of the 1 million dirhams. Um, uh, so what I can see from here is the very good, um, very good uh, increase during the promo season for categories, uh, for, for almost all the categories. So um, which is a uh, great, uh, great sign of the, of the, for what actually category is potentially can be even bigger than it's now and ha can have like, Great grow in the next year. Uh, and the second thing, you can see the uh, average bill. So um, some of the uh, categories uh, um, 
below uh, 20 to 28 grams. Uh, and it depends on um, each cell choice. Uh, some of their consultants, they suggest not to go there the products uh, under like 60 dirhams, although uh, you also need to think about the uh, budget for their uh, the procurement uh, you need to do so uh, as uh, for, the, for, 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 for us personally as a seller uh, we not suggest to go to the uh, category with the average price uh lower than uh 20 dirhams but um everything uh ahead of 20 dirhams uh seems uh fairly uh fairly okay for us uh because then you just start you also need to consider the size and how deep your inventory should be because it's also something that uh, eventually can be very uh, key thing for their uh, actual sales on marketplaces and the listing. Because if marketplace see that one seller has inventory, it makes sense for the marketplace to list this product higher than other products. Because if you're going to get the traffic from the marketplace, this traffic not going to be wasted. There are going to be enough of inventory to sell and eventually marketplace and seller both they will get their sales if there are not enough inventory it's very hard to push this product ahead because uh once again then you get the traffic but you know like users uh are not able to buy the product because of lack of inventory this product uh would actually fall even um lower than the previous position because of this situation because from marketplace side it's actually based so what we suggest to do is uh think about the level of inventory and also like check the level of inventory of main competitors so uh let's uh look at the category um uh flatware and cutlery and here we can see two main categories First is knife sets, and second is flatware sets. Obviously, flatware sets doesn't doing good, and the, this is the one thing we also wanna uh, to uh, talk about. Uh, if on certain marketplace the category is not big enough, uh, there could be two strategies. First is actually go to this uh, category and print the products which are not exist on marketplace yet, but doing good on other marketplaces. And so, but basically create that kind of category. But for from our perspective, it's like more risky a scenario. Uh, so we usually suggest to go with the uh, categories which already has enough sales and uh, try to understand like what kind of what market share you can take all through this category. So if we see here, total the knife sets uh, category is uh, 5, 575,100 uh, dirhams. Uh, so uh, to actually to uh, if if one seller can get like for example ten percent or like thirty percent of this um uh category so it's already gonna be like thirty percent is like almost like two almost uh two hundred thousand dirhams which is uh from my perspective looks like a great uh potential category. Uh, another thing, uh, you can check the, the percentage of sales. So the average percentage of product with sales here is like actually uh, 1.16%, which is okay. Uh, and also what you can see here is the number of sales, a number of products uh, available for this category, which is under 500 products. So the, um, this category is not saturated at all. And yeah, this actually percentage is actually 2.56 uh which is good uh and you're gonna compete with only one 97 uh 197 merchants um no that is not like i said, recommend everyone to sell the knife sets this is only the 
example how to uh, find the category which has potential and has uh, enough volume inside the category. Uh, but this is so far. Let's see the brands are selling in this category. Interesting. That is actually is dominated by two brands. The only thing what you need to check is like either this brands is big, what kind of products they sell, and uh, could you provide something additional for this uh, category so actually sell better? Uh, what we can can see here that they sell in like uh, lots of products at the price of sixty or forty dirhams, which is a set nine set of nine pieces. So uh, the next thing is uh, required to do is go to Alibaba.com check the prices for similar sets on Alibaba and understand how much logistic gonna cost for this category. Or you can also check, you know, like if you are gonna source domestically, for what price you can uh, actually uh, get these stocks. Uh, and it's very, very important. Another th important thing is like, it's now they see the the, the the stocks are very low so there's only three pieces only 11 and 7 pieces per each uh product so let me check the stocks yeah so in october actually stocks were in december stocks were really high i don't like the how how graphic looks like uh but yeah and in august as well so um it was like Initially, they had like stock of 13,000 products, and now the stocks are super, super low for this product. Uh, you need to also like look why, what's the reason why this uh, the, the, the stocks are uh, behaving this way. Uh, and another thing is like, for example, for this product, you can see here's like three pieces and the price is actually 18 dirhams, which is not that high, but the product itself generate 80,000, 88,000 of uh, 88,000 dirhams, uh, which is okay. Um, let me check uh, what the stock they have recently. Yeah, so they actually, in October, December, they have like very, uh great stocks uh of eight thousand products and you can see here how they generate their sales um another the great uh, tool you can ch check how uh actually the sales goes is their product chart so uh here you can check the specific timing like for example uh, what were the sales in September which is not high season usually they used to have uh around two hundred up from 16 to 200 sales per day uh, which means if you planning to stock your inventory for the months ahead you need to calculate how many products they used to have like for example for low season for high season and understand how much money you actually need to uh have for your budget uh in terms of um procurement um process another very important thing is actually the price level so once you understand how many stocks how many inventory you need to have to compete with your um competitors on the marketplace with the leader uh, the second thing you need to understand if you will be uh, able to provide the same price as they, because for some marketplaces, uh, some categories is very saturated, because for example, you can see here the um, sets of knife and sets like, for example, uh, free piece unity knives cost uh, less than two, uh, 20 20 dirhams uh, so uh, it's very hard sometimes to understand if it's like high price or low price for them so um, to estimate this uh, definitely you need to check the price on alibaba.com and just understand the, your, your cost or your cost within domestic supplier Another uh, interesting thing about price is that you can actually check uh, for each uh, for each category price distribution so here for example for the home and kitchen you can see that the most of money made in the category uh, up to uh, 100 euros and we can see here 
uh, size of uh, 220 million, per, uh, 20 million uh, revenue. And actually, we can see here um, almost 400,000 pieces products, right? Uh, but if you look at the category, uh, category of uh, with price uh, size 100 to 200 dirhams, you can see here revenue of uh, 9 million dirhams with the number of um, products, uh, 122,000 products. So, uh, and the next category, which is even more interesting, is this, um, the category from 200 to 300. So another thing, what I suggest to do, uh, you can see here that this category, it has enough potential in terms of revenue, although the number of products in these two categories from 200 to 300, it's not uh, enough. Like, right, it's not that big. Another interesting thing that you can do with the, uh, the new claims if the prices and actually go to the product se section on sales screen IO and check the category, certain category. Now I, ch I choose the home and kitchen category, uh, which has almost 8,000 products. Uh, and you can set up either minimum price or maximum price. So now I'm set up the price uh, the minimum price of 200 dirhams. Uh, so we can see what kind of products actually sold um, on marketplace for this price and uh, who is the winner. Um, vacuum cleaner, right? Um, then you can see a lot of home appliance. Uh, so basically you can scroll uh, down and understand what kind of products are popular on the marketplace. Uh, we can see here is a lot of patio tent and a lot of like um, big size uh, home appliance to actually get away from this uh, to from this thing. Uh, we can choose not uh, like different categories within home and kitchen and not to like for example bath let's say bedding, candles, canvas, uh, like clocks, doormats, uh, frame accessories, uh, home decor, right? Uh, and it different, uh, different categories, not include like big home appliance. So yeah, here we see like what kind of uh, uh, products generate in the most JV. And one of those products has handed shower filter for skin and uh, uh, for, for skin and um, hair care, which is great product uh, because, um, yeah, this is great product. Uh, actually, you can check this product uh, within uh, different Within different, uh, within different suppliers, uh, because this is great example of product which gonna generate uh, enough, uh, enough, um, enough uh, revenue. The second thing, what you can do is actually look at different uh, suppliers who supply this thing and look at the buy box. So you can see uh, how many um, stocks they have and uh, what uh, what price they sell in it. Right, uh, yeah, and for each, for each seller, you can see here actually, uh, the, for each seller you can see here actually the number of sales, uh, and the uh revenue. Like uh, second for example, it's like uh cautions, which is quite big. Uh, if you don't want to look at the price, like pricey products, like for example, the price of 600, you just can set up the spice, like price range from 200 to 300 um, and check all the products is it selling. Um, orthopedic donut pillow, it's, I guess, um, usually best seller for many marketplaces. You can see this one is, although generates only 6,000 per month. 
so now you can see uh, all the products from home and kitchen category uh, sorted by JMV in the best selling products is actually moist absorber freshener uh, the, the price of 29 dirhams in which generates around um, 59,000 dirhams per month. The next one is the uh, body pillow, which usually suitable for a pregnant woman. Uh, and um, what interesting here is that um, for some certain categories, uh, you will still um, uh, compete with uh, known brands which sell the for example, eight pieces towel set with like very, very uh, low price. Uh, for some, you can, you know, like one of the best sellers, Party and Work, Work Dozen Wishes uh, candle. Uh, so you also gonna compete uh, with this, 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 this big brand. Um, but if you go further, um, yeah, it's still, still Pen Emirates, Moon. Some of the some of the like for example, home decor products are uh, not, uh, from big brand or not from noon as well, uh. So you can look at these products, uh, actually, uh, and and see what and for example like, uh, another thing what you can do, uh, noon, itself as a marketplace they gather all the products uh generic products and a generic brand so you can choose brand generic and you can see here all the products are popular for example this is like um gel like uh anti roach uh gel bait uh the, the price of 57 dirhams which actually generates the great uh revenue of 21,000 per one month per one products, which is not bad. And you also can check all their uh, products we sell and uh, under generic brands under different uh, different sellers, uh, which not actually including uh, noon. So um, this is the, the, the products uh, which is uh, deserve to be actually look at it. Another approach how to find uh, the good product is actually not only look on the existing sellers, but also look on uh, existing trends. And you can check all of these trends uh, in search query section. So in search query, you can choose the any kind of um, section, any kind of category you want to sell. Let's say uh, you still uh, uh, like thinking about knife sets, right? And here you can see like all the search queries for last week. So um, we suggest to look at, to put attention on the, um, like take a look on the categories on the, and all the, on the keywords, we generate at least like 50 uh, requests per one week, uh, which is 200 per month. Uh, so you can see here actually uh, knife sets block black, right? Uh, fork and knife, knife spoon set. Um, and this is like cutting board. Uh, so this is like all of this um, keywords. First, they can give you understanding like what kind of products um uh usually people look looking for uh second you can understand how many people are actually looking for products um with like for, for looking for this kind of product the second thing you can choose is actually sort their products by the grow so here you can see um here you can see all the all the products sorted by grow uh, which is um, let's say um, um, you can see for some of the products is actually positive growth, uh, which is uh, marked with um, uh, green, uh, and you can see the percentage of growth. 
or you can see actually how the numbers decreased. For example, uh, then it's uh, highlighted with red. It means that this uh, product are uh, people looking uh, less this week than for the previous week. Uh, another interesting thing what you can ch check is the uh, sales number uh, generated by this uh, keyword and uh, the uh, uh, revenue. So here's sales, here's the uh, revenue. But remember, all of these uh, numbers is actually number per only one week. Uh, here's salsa average price. So average sale price, which is also average bill. So you can see like what people are looking for and what people are ready to pay uh, for each for each 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 each, each specific product. Uh, another thing you can see average GNV per product. You can also sort the products with this um under under under, under this. So um most of the people most of the money people ready to spend for the knife set this stand and let's check the for their um, average sales price is actually also like a blooming set or knife set this stand or knives this stand uh and uh, as, as they saw many of best sellers uh we see they are in like less um has like uh in amazing number of sales uh although you you for example see there's no stand so as an example is something you can bring to your product and how you can actually differentiate your product um among your competitors another amazing thing what you can check is actually check the who is the big sellers on the marketplace just to understand like what niche you can to go um and to do so uh you need to go to the section called stores so here's listed all the stores um by jmv or sales uh if you wanna check the like sales that means that you're gonna see the products the, the stores which generates the most sales but probably the average bill gonna be like uh, a bit lower and here you can see that on Noon Marketplace, actually, the first store is Noon itself. And then you can see that all other of um, stores. And for example, you can, first of all, you need to check what actually Noon sell and what kind of brands they sell and what is Noon brands, what kind of brands they launch. So because it's a very difficult to compete with Marketplace who already established the brand in certain niche. So we usually suggest to avoid those niches and also uh, the interesting thing is just look uh, for example different stores which is uh, generating big amount of sales like for what they generate in the sales for example if they sell in cosmetics what brand they sell it um, if they and uh, you know like uh, what number of uh, products they have and also um, what kind of brands they prefer or like what kind of products they prefer so it's very very important um, for these purposes I actually usually recommend um, to check the the largest stores to understand uh to, to the, the largest sell sellers and I also like to look at the sellers of like smaller side but uh, relatively successful on marketplace so let's say um you uh realize that probably you can look at the this niche like um cockroach cockroach uh, gel bait um, and the first thing you need to understand is like um, what uh, else competition you can see here uh, competition could be in terms of competition inside the category or competition inside the buy box so inside the buy box you can see here uh, two brands one is uh, KPN Shopping, uh, which has like less stocks. Uh, and the second is Megamart. They actually, the price is almost the same, uh, but one has like less stock. Uh, and Megamart is actually the leader. So you need to understand how to uh, position your brand um, in terms of 
uh, in terms of uh, sales in, in, in this marketplace. You also can see here all the keywords that, that usually people um, put in, in, in into the search uh, and it also can give you an, an additional uh, understanding how people um, how people look for their specific brand for this product or they're looking for uh, specific uh, uh, keywords. I also suggest to show uh, old keywords because sometimes some of the products are listed by some keywords, but, but not, but they still need to know all the keywords which is, um, yeah, which is uh, available on the marketplace. Um, the second thing, uh, you need to understand the level of uh, inventory you need to maintain to compete with them so usually this brand it has stock of 1000 pieces uh, so at least at least we suggest to look uh, at the start of this uh, product right uh, so they started actually with 800 pieces, which is still a lot, but you need to understand to win this competition, you need to be, um, have at least 30% of the stocks, uh, the leader has in this, uh, niche. Uh, second thing, you can also like check which category are they in. They actually in the category calls a patio and garden and check all the products which are selling here. So, so far you can see here a lot of uh, uh, Danum home products, uh, a lot of furniture. Um, so just put in the title, um, the name of the product. So approach here could be, uh, you look at their uh, title, you copy it in the title uh, in, uh, product section and actually check all the products which is um, generating uh, some kind of results uh, there are fortunately what I can see so far I don't really like this although there are only one product which is generating a good amount of sales and the second is actually a product is uh, also generating good amount of sales but the third is already like very very um week sales so what i suggest is to try to find the products where you can see at least 10 products are generating uh above 10000 uh dirhams per month this is very important because this is actually the um the 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 the, the volume of your product Although the second thing you need to look at the other products and understand why they are selling, not selling at all. First, like for example, the second good selling product, the price is 14 dirhams higher than the uh, liter. So uh, unfortunately, this product wouldn't sell that, that, that good. The second issue, as you can see, they don't really um, work on the content. They only have one uh single images uh for this product um the second one more issue is um you can see that like for example this product uh also has only one um only one uh product card and um as you can see um as you can see that um uh, they not really have any comments like because for that kind of products which sold sold in like very specific specific uh pain which is produce right animals in your kitchen or house um you, it's very important to get the positive feedback to see that actually someone already tried this thing and this thing is actually works and um content in the, the the thing which is like belongs like user generated content uh, and then you don't have such a content and you don't work on your content there are no trust from the customer so uh, I can see why this product it doesn't really um, uh, sells the best uh, then you choose your product you need to understand how to create marketing for this product uh, and think uh, what 
uh, you need to do uh, to uh, get this product uh, ranking higher than competitors. Um, we will talk about it in the next video. Uh, thank you for staying with us. Hopefully the information today was uh, interesting and helpful. Uh, let us know uh, if you have any suggestion or questions uh, by contacting other um by contacting our support team uh you can find them uh in the bottom of the website um whatsapp button so you can uh easily message them in whatsapp feel free to talk um then it's uh, required um and um if you have any questions just let us know um Thank you very much uh, and wish everyone a successful business expansion.